yeah, look, I mean, Will Campbell, um, first game of Bailey Walker. Um, we can tell the blokes that have done the work over pre-season. Um, and, you know, Super Will Campbell's um, intensity and effort across the four quarters was, was probably one of the only ones along with Bailey Walker. You would surely have found the, uh, the opening term pretty positive, a lot of intensity, pressure around the ground. You were happy with the way the boys kick started? Yeah, it's a bit of a trend against Glenorchy, um, and we won't talk about last year, but um, look, our first quarter was, was really good in terms of all of our KPIs and our areas that we want to match Glenorchy on. Um, I think through the, the second quarter, we started to fall away in, in all of those areas, uh, the areas that, that play well. I mean, we stopped taking the game on, um, our pressure acts were down in the second quarter, um, and Glenorchy raised the bar. And so when Glenorchy get a little bit, of, uh, a little bit on top and, and a little bit positive about what they're doing, um, that's where our boys have to get a little bit more mentally tough. So, uh, look, we've got a lot to work on. We've had a big pre-season and we know where we're at, um, but uh, we're disappointed as a group. Uh, what's the injury to Callendell? He uh, limped off late. Yeah, he's had a bit of an issue with, uh, with his ankles of late um, and he just had a bloke fall across him, so he's fine. He'll be fine next week. You're impressed with the performances of, um, like you mentioned, Walker before, obviously a big milestone for him today, but also the likes of Hutchinson coming across from Lindisfarne. Are you happy with how they kind of, you know, first game up a level in the State League? How did you find their performances? Yeah, good. Ba Bailey's been training since the first week after we finished. Um, and, uh, you know, he did an off-season off program because he had to get bigger and had to get stronger. And, you know, I mean, he was running around on no legs at the end, um, but he was still going 100 mile an hour and didn't want to be beaten in the one-on-one -on -one contest. And, uh, you know, we looked across the, the board and we just had a discussion then as a group and across the 22, we probably didn't have enough contributors in that area of, of winning the one-on-one -on -one contest, taking the game on and, uh, and you know, those pressure acts, as I said before. How do you pick up the pieces and prepare for a pretty tough challenge next week up against that, what was last year's runner-up? Yeah, no, look, the positive about this is that we, we play the two um, uh, grand finalists from last year in the first two weeks. So we, we get an idea of, of where we're at um, in the pressure. Uh, so obviously we're playing a high-pressure game. Um, and we, we get an idea of what we need to do. And uh, I think last year we, shut, we demonstrated the ability to to really push through the, the year um, and come home hard. So we didn't want to do that and we still don't want to do that. So next week, the, the aim for this week is that we, we fail fast and um, and we go we go again, so we pick our feet back up. So we won't talk about today again. Um, we'll do a little bit on, on Monday night in terms of our review and, and video review, but um, we'll look forward to, to North Lawning next, next week up there on a, uh, on a big ground.